Hi, this is Tim. And this is Queen. And this is Andy. And today we are going to learn about wireless electricity. Yay! Well, not really. We're actually learning about how transformers work. But that's not a more exciting. Mm. Now, please don't put in the comments that this is actually wireless electricity. Otherwise, Electro Boom and some of those YouTubers are going to go on me and say I'm making fake. What do they call it? Fake? Fake videos. Fake videos? Well, they're real videos. I'm making them. You're making fake. fake. You're making fake statements. Fake statements. Yeah, this is real. Real statements. Yes. So in our previous videos, we've been playing with contactor claws, mainly without even electricity hooked to them, and learning how we can drop magnets through them and make LEDs eliminate and all types of neat stuff. This video right here is a more watch and learn video. This is not a try at home video. We are using 120 volt wall power connected to our coal in this video. So this is a typical transformer that you would see. You would have AC power on this side. It would go to a winding of wire, and then you would have this iron block going all the way around it, and there would be a secondary winding of wire that would go for, to another voltage. Now, in this case, we have a light because that's what we're doing in this video. But usually you would have like 480 here, and maybe there's four times more turns over here than over here and that would make it go from 480 to 120 because it's depending on the number of turns what this iron block does is it transfers the magnetic flux that is created with the ac sine wave over here and brings it over to here now our setup is not exactly like that it was mainly i couldn't figure out how to tear apart a transformer and explain it and make it work but what i found is we can take a bolt through a contactor coil stick another contactor coil on top of it and the bolt will extend that magnetic flux over to the second coil and that's why the light is lighting up now it's not going to work perfectly and i think that's probably good is this magnetic flux right here is not going to be perfectly transferred because we're using a 120 volt coil here and a 120 volt coil here so if we put 120 over here we should get 120 here but we're not going to so we have our one 120 volt coil. We're sticking a regular half inch bolt through it. And then we are sticking our second coil on top of it. And the coils look different just mainly because we were handling this one more and I wanted to be a little less uh, exposed conductors on it. So when we plug in our 120 volt, we get our light. And you also hear that humming. That humming is actually coming from that bolt kind of vibrating in that magnetic field. So while we have 120 volt wall power, when we plug it in, we only have about 57 volt actually making it to the light. And that has to do with those magnetic flux lines. That's why you have that steel core piece going all the way around it, it is to help increase that efficiency. Okay, well, we finally let the magic smoke out of the contactor, which was my worry. That's why I had my, you had me a magic smoke shirt on. And that is why this was more of a watch what we do, not do what we do type videos. I didn't figure the coal would last very long. I hope this helps you learn what transformers are. And we're going to go ahead and air out the building now. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.